You can use a dustpan to fill up a bucket. And I was Who like, would do that? So this is what happens when you're hooked up to an IV pole. Nurse Gina is here. <laughs> and we're just going over life-saving tips. And I really did think some of these... Oh my God, the ads on your computer, you just, it just said toenail clippers are for seniors. Yeah. This Tell them the most important one, though. Okay. So I mean, this knew? is serious. Who knew? This is serious. I didn't know. So, you can use, say if you get locked in your car, under the water, you need to get out of the car immediately, but you can't. You can take your... Okay, wait, just stop for a minute. Okay. okay, you just said if you need to get out of the car immediately immediately like would there be a chance that you were locked in the car underwater and you no. didn't feel like getting out well you might i mean you <laughs> might just wanted to go down like that i don't know I, I, but i'm just saying uh-huh yes keep going okay so if you're locked in your car and you have to it's an emergency you got to get out i did not realize that you could take your headrest off which i knew you could do that but i never thought of using it as a tool to break your window out I've never taken the driver's headrest off. I knew you could take the other ones off. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to test every headrest I got. I've got... And then you're going to go my, off the... i got my work... No, oh, I, I thought my, you meant every headrest in the car. No, I'm, uh, I've got my work car. She's got a fleet of vehicles. And then I've got my personal car. Yeah. And then Jamie's truck. All right. She's going to be ready to drive over the bridge. Well, I know. I think there are people that are afraid of bridges. I wonder if it has oh, to do yeah. with that they can't swim. I, I mean, you think about it. Even the best swimmer. If you go off the sound right. bridge, you're dead as a doornail. You don't need your headrest. True. It's too high. Yeah. Well, the, the one that's creepy is this one over... Yeah, that is the same bridge, 32. Oh, the one out there going yes. to Columbia. It doesn't have any rails I on know. it. It's just a the, low cut. The bridge goes to your knee. It's yes. like they want you to fall off. And it's windy up there. Yeah, eighteen wheelers just flying uh, all the this. way. Uh -huh. And not only that, when you go in, it goes. Oh, do, I do, I do. So you got that, and you got the winds, and you're just praying, Jesus, get me over. <laughs> Thomas has ridden a bike over that bridge. Thomas is crazy. I know. I know he is. That's a two. Uh, no. A two lane bridge. Mm -hmm. No, ain't no way. He doesn't do it now. Okay, so we got the headrest, save your life, take your headrest out, and bang, smash out the window. What else we got? Well, does your tinfoil ever get away from you? If your tinfoil gets away from you. There's little dents in the in the side of the box. You can punch them out and keep your roll from rolling out. But why don't, why don't, why aren't these things advertised? I don't know. This could be a whole, like, new TV show. The dustpan, you can. Okay, dustpan to fill up a bucket. I don't understand that. What does that mean? Like, say if you want to put. A mop bucket. Okay. And your sink is too small. small to yeah. Who'd have a fuck it? No. Who'd have fuck it? I just don't think that it could work. Who's not going to try it? No. You got, see, this is a challenge. They have set up challenges. Just well, like what was We've the, got to go find a dustpan and a bucket. <laughs> what was the debate of what goes in the refrigerator? I can't remember. And we had to look it up. Someone in the refrigerator. Can't remember. But it was last time I was here. This is a common theme around here. Mm -hmm. Us trying to solve the world's problems. Yeah, let's see whatever. A dustpan into a bucket. Yeah. I'd love to do that in front of my husband watching me do that. Yeah, that should be interesting. You two are having a good time. Well, we've already done a subscriber video and discussed the queen and hoarding. Mm hmm. Look, Erin has the special tool her dad bought for her. Well, Gina and I were just saying, we always think we should get one of those tools, and we don't have one. Your daughter's on here. She just said, oh, Lord. Oh, uh, look, who, who would have thought this? It's not strawberry season anymore, but you can poke a straw up the bottom of the strawberry and make the things come up the top. The little hat. So then you don't even need to cut the strawberry. That's right. Well, I tell you what, I've got strawberries, but I don't think I have any straws. That is a mine, just a life hack right there. I mean, that's incredible. It is. You know how much time I've spent cutting strawberry tops exactly. off? It's just peel. Impale them. <laughs> Impale the strawberries. <laughs> what else? What uh, else? Let's see. 
The little dent on the milk carton here? Dent on the milk carton, yep. When it's no longer a dent and it's puffed out, that means your milk's bad. Well, shut up. Uh -uh. The gases build up and cause it to go. If anybody knows these things, I would like you to raise your hand so you can come on and be a special guest. Yeah, because who knew? I didn't know. The more you know is what it says on here. Okay. Let's see what else we got. That's a spaghetti spoon. It's designed to measure portions. The spaghetti spoon that looks like a claw has a hole in the middle. And you put your spaghetti to see how, many, how much spaghetti you need to cook. For one person. That's a serving person for one. I just always throw in a box. I throw in the whole box, too. But then I eat. It, then you eat large it, right? amounts of spaghetti, spaghetti. Mm -hmm. which goes to my stomach. Let's see what else. We all need that. We all need that too. That was. Oh, it said the arrow on the gas gauge. How there's that little arrow by the gas gauge. That's old news at this point. But how about that it wasn't there forever? I know. I mean, I who have, thought about it? I have to remember because my work. And I still have to look. My work car's a Ford, so it's on my side. My personal car is a Chevrolet Equinox, and it's on this side. So I'm oh, I didn't know confused. it was different. I'm always confused. No, I have to check every time I check. So you, this doesn't really apply, I guess, to any of us. But if you have a pom pom on the top of your hat, <laughs> like this <laughs> sailor dude here, just in case <laughs> just any of you are wearing your pom pom hats, the we've got a trick. The reason that pom-pom was there because in the submarines, they would bust their heads. So the pom-pom would hit the thing and it wouldn't hurt their head. Really? That's what I read. Who knew? It's the 19th century. Do you think that's French why sailors. they don't make pom-pom hats anymore? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you could fill a wall hole with a crayon. What? If... Say if you had a white wall. Walmart said that's a lie, Gina. It's called a pasta gauge. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, good. Because I was thinking of my pasta spoon, and it just got slats in it. Like Grab one of the kids' white crayons and use it to fill the unsightly holes. Now, I'll be darned. Now, I can do that right this second. Yeah. A white crayon. But your wall has to be white. But... Think about it, it's uh, like a 64 box of crayons. That's a lot of color to choose. And it looks better than just a hole. nothing. Right. Now, see? I do like a magic eraser. That doesn't help with holes. Do you right. use a magic eraser? I love a magic eraser. Instead of painting, that's yes. my hack. I walk around with a magic eraser mm -hmm. and wipe off, you know, fingerprints. She look. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I saw last night. Here, I'll show you right now. Look at this right here. This is, this is the how I live in here. <laughs> I noticed this last night. Got my ivy pole. Right up here on the mantle here. You see what this is? Ketchup. Ketchup on the candlestick. Ketchup up there. Because Amos threw a chicken nugget with ketchup on it. You got anything about that? There's a bowl of Cheerios. No, nothing. Any more? Let's see. All right, so reinforcement stickers. You know the things you put on like notebook paper to keep it from tearing reinforcement stickers? No. With a secondary use. Those little rain things. I have never used that in my life. Okay. Have you? Yeah. Oh. Nerd, um, nerds. That's a nerd hack. Probably. What are you supposed to do with them? Well, you can um, use them for getting a moon or half moon manicure, known as a French or reverse manicure. Oh. So let's see what that looks like. Somehow I have a feeling if I did that, it wouldn't look good. All right, so then she's stuck those, those little circles. Uh huh, I see, good. And then she's painted her little fingernails at the end here. And I sure hope it looks better than that because it does, you know, I don't recommend that to it. That's not a good tip. Don't okay. do not do that. Yeah. We don't want you to do that. No, that's not. It looks terrible. It does. Mm -hmm. The blue part of an eraser. 
What? Evidently, there are two sides to an eraser. Oh, no, I didn't know about this. What's this? Okay, so... I'll you know, eraser has, like, red and blue. Mm -hmm. Or pink and blue. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just getting an IVIG once a month. Uh-huh, what is it? So, the blue can be used on thicker or tough paper types, while the red one should be used on either notebook or loose-leaf paper. Well, I'll be darn. I thought it was just to look good. I did, too. Who knew? I have something called Mog, and Gina comes to me every month instead of me having to go to the infusion lab, which is nice because Gina and I can sit here and talk to cats and the dog and figure out what we've been doing wrong. Learn things. Work. Mm -hmm. um, Wait for the electricity to turn off. <laughs> that happened yesterday. Yeah. The electricity turned off in Gina, and I thought a storm was coming. I was texting all the neighbors. No. No, I didn't pay the bill. Bad times over here. Bad times. Fast food container hat. Now, what's that? Um, It is unclear design. But, uh, okay. What's this at? Oh, look. What would they do to their McDonald's and their Chick-fil-A right Shut now? Shut it right now. Shut the front door. Look at that. They got the drink up in that little hole there, and you got... That's really what you're supposed to do with it? But it... Legit, it, there is a hole in the Chick-fil-A container. It is. I mean, why Why is that not, like... Known to... Uh, top every, news. What, and look, you got your little sauce in there, so you don't get sauce all over your back seat. Look at that. I mean, instead, I'm juggling all that stuff on my lap, trying not to wreck the car. <sighs> I'll be darn... Well, we're ending with that. We're waiting for this medicine to end so we can go to the Habitat store. Yeah. Tune in. Tune in later for more hacks. Bye.